What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Booster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $4 million buy-in. They gave us 50 quarters. Super, super expensive game today. Anyhow, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can win the jackpot. My goodness, they got this thing stacked up extremely well. They got a massive wall of chips right there in the center. They got two quarter towers on the corners, all kinds of five and ten thousand dollar chip towers, all kinds of gold towers in there today also. There's two massive towers of gold back there on the pusher. Y'all may not be able to see those because of that big old wall blocking it. And anyhow, you'll see it here in a few minutes probably. So that was the last of our quarters, so let me go see what I've won real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and Coin Pusher has returned, let's keep it pushing. So we got about 182 quarters back on that first round. That's a pretty decent start to the game if you ask me. And also, both of those quarter towers on the left and the right, they're moving forward pretty well also. Those may crash down within the next couple of minutes. Maybe within the next couple of seconds. Oh yeah, look at that one on the left. That's a win, come on. Oh my goodness, and that ginormous wall, it's moving good also. It's pushing incredibly well today. About to get a gold bar on that right hand side, you see it? Oh yeah, nice, we got that quarter tower. That one had a bunch of five and ten thousand dollar chips. Oh yeah, nice. We got that wall to crash down also. That loot chute's piled up. Let me get it unclogged real quick. Oh yeah, nice. There it goes. And check this out. There was a blue mystery bag hidden in there. And I think I seen a dice fall out of there also. Wow, that is absolutely phenomenal. So anyhow, let me go collect the quarters real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and Coin Pusher has returned. Let's keep it pushing. So we made a tremendous amount of money on that last round. And we got a truckload of gold and a boatload of quarters. I think we got around 460 quarters now, so pretty close to 500 of them. About to get a bunch more than that once that quarter tower on the right falls down. Oh yeah, look at all those five and ten thousand dollar chips we're about to get. Oh yeah, that was like a good half a million dollars right there or more. Oh my goodness, nice, we got a white mystery bag. Wow, I just seen that fall out on the ground. So I will pick that up here in a second. And also, we've won a white dice and a blue mystery bag so far. Oh yeah, nice. We got that quarter tower on the right-hand side to go, but unfortunately, that loot shoots piled up again, so let's get it cleared out real quick. All right, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So we got that loot shoot cleared out. I think there was like a gold bar or something stuck in there. It was blocking all those chips from falling on down into the loot box. Oh my goodness, nice, we got that gold tower that was on the right hand side. Wow, this is pushing really, really well today. Making out like a bandit, that's for sure. So anyway, we got a white dice and two mystery bags now. We got that white mystery bag and the blue mystery bag. So that white dice, if you don't know what that's for, we get to roll it at the end of the game. Whatever it lands on, my winnings will multiply by that number. So we definitely have the potential to make some huge profits today, that's for sure. So that right there was the last of our quarters, so let me go see what I've won real quick. We'll get right back to pushing. Alright, I'm back, so check this out. There was another dice hidden in there, so we got two white dice in total. Like I said earlier, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by that number. And if there's any gold dice in there today, like if there's any gold dice inside of them mystery bags, if we win them, we get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on. My gold will multiply by that number. So, 
Yeah, those gold bars, they're worth about $2,000 an ounce. So that's some pretty good money right there. About to get three or four ounces of gold right there on the edge. I uh, just got one of them. So after we win all those remaining chips and gold out of there, I will go ahead and open up both of them mystery bags. Yeah, and there's three ways we could win those towers that are on the blue shelves today. The first way, we could stack the quarters up really high back there on the pusher, and if we're lucky, we'll trick shot one of those towers into the play field. But as you can see, none of those towers are like hanging off the blue shelf, so I don't think it's possible to trick shot any of them towers into the play field. And the second way we could win those towers is if we pay five times the original buy-in and they would move all those towers that are on the blue shelves in the play field. And the third way we could win all those towers on the blue shelves is if there's a $5 chip hidden in there. And if we win that $5 chip, we get to cash it in. They will move all those towers that are on the blue shelves in the play field. So let's just hope that $5 chip is inside one of those mystery bags. We'll find out very shortly after we win that last 30 grand out of there. Now to get that $10,000 chip on the right hand side. Come on, big money. Nice, we got it. So now let's focus on that left side. We only got like 10 quarters left. Let's get them in there. All right, 10 grand to go. So let me collect some quarters real quick and we'll get that last $10,000 out of there. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So let's get that last $10,000 out of there. After we win that, I will open up both of them mystery bags. So anyhow, I hope everybody's doing good and having an awesome Sunday so far. Remember, if you're new around here and you enjoy the content, do me a favor. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a video. Would help out a lot. We're on the road to 115,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the 1st of June, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely spectacular. So now, let's go ahead and open up both of those mystery bags. All right, here they are. So let's go ahead and start with this white mystery bag right here. Let's open it up and see if there's anything good and valuable in there. Oh yeah, nice. We got another dice and the $50 chip. So that makes three dice we've won in total. That is absolutely incredible. And this $50 chip, we get to cash this in. They will take any money or gold or dice that falls down those side slots, put it back into the play field. So I will cash this in at the end of the game. So stay tuned for that. So now let's move on to this blue mystery bag. See if there's anything good and valuable in this one. Let's see, what do we get? Oh yeah, nice. Check that out. So we got the $5 chip. Like I said earlier, we get to cash that in. They will move all those towers that are on the blue shelves to the play field. And this $1 chip right here, this is worth 500 quarters. So I can cash this in. They'll give me an extra 500 quarters. That is absolutely remarkable. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cash in both of these. They'll move all them towers to the play field for the $5 chip, and they will give me an extra 500 quarters for the $1 chip. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, AMV Coin Pusher has returned. Let's keep it pushing. So I cashed in that $5 and $1 chip. They moved all those towers that was on the blue shelves to the play field, and they gave me an extra 500 quarters. So wish me good luck. Let's try to knock all those towers down. The only thing I'm concerned about, all those towers back there on the pusher, they're stacked up pretty tall. And if you've seen previous videos, y'all know that if the towers are stacked up pretty tall back there on the pusher, we have a very, very high chance of losing some of the chips to the blue shell. I mean, if we lose anything over a hundred grand, well, it only costs us a hundred grand to get them to move whatever we lost back to the play field. So if we lose anything over a hundred grand, I will pay that extra hundred thousand dollar fine and they will move them chips back to the play field. 
Well, so far, the towers on the right side have fell down in pretty good spots. So now we've got to get that tower to fall down in a good spot. Oh yeah, we're about to get a boatload of 5,000 ollie chips on the right. Yeah, it looks like we lost... Let's see, what is that? Like 25, 30 grand, so... It's definitely not worth it to pay an extra 100 grand to get that back. It's pushing really well, though. We're getting all kinds of five and ten thousand dollar chips, gold bars. Oh yeah, we're making a fortune today. Goodness gracious. Oh yeah, look at all those five thousand dollar chips on the edge. Out there on the left. Nice, there they go. So it won't be long, we'll have it all cleared out of there if it keeps on pushing this good. Oh yeah, that was a spectacular push right there. Absolutely outstanding game so far. And also, if you're wondering why they did not move those chips that are against the walls to the playfield whenever I cashed in that $5 chip, it's because all those chips are for decoration only. The only way we could win those is if we trick shot them into the play field using the quarters. And if you've seen older videos, y'all know that that is extremely difficult to do. I think we've only been able to do it a couple of times. And I've played probably five, six thousand of these games. And only been able to trick shot those chips into the play field maybe five or six times. So it's a very, very slim chance that happening. And if we do trick shot those chips into the play field and win them, they would count those as a win, whatever the cash value of the chip is. But on the other hand, if we were to trick shot those tiny dice that are on top of those chips into the play field, I would have to give those back to them because those aren't the dice that we get to roll at the end of the game. Those have no value at all. Those are just for decoration only. All right, well, we're almost out of quarters. That's the last handful right there. That's all we had left in the bowl. Come on, big push. Oh yeah, check that out. We're about to get a bunch of money and gold on that left side. So let me go collect some quarters. We'll get that remaining chips and gold out of there. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So let's run all those remaining chips and gold out of there, and after that, I will cash in that $50 chip, and they will take anything that's falling down those top spots, put it back into the play field. So, to be honest with you, I've let the loot shoot pile up a couple of times today, and if you know this, if that loot shoot gets too full, a lot of times money will start to fall back to the house, it'll like fall inside the machine. So I don't know how that happens. I think there's like a little opening in the loot chute. And if it gets too full, that loot chute gets too full. Whatever's in the loot chute will fall back inside the machine. So I try to keep that loot chute cleared out. But it just keeps on piling up pretty quickly. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, those $5,000 chips on the left-hand side, they just moved a little bit. Oh yeah, that 10 grand right there. And I know it looks like I win all the time. It's because I only post the winning videos. I never really post the losing games. I mean, I've tried posting the losing videos in the past. Y'all didn't seem to like those too well. And I try to keep this channel as positive as possible. So that's why I only stick to posting the winning games. But anyhow, I probably win one out of every three or four games I play. So I definitely don't win as much as it seems. I know it looks like I'm winning hundreds of million dollars every single day. But that's not the reality of the situation. I mean, I might win a hundred million dollars profit off of this game right here. Then the next game I play, I can lose that hundred million dollars within a matter of seconds. And most of the time it takes five or six buy-ins just to get anything to happen. 
the towers barely move. I mean, I guess it all depends on getting here at the right time. Because, like today, they told me two or three other people was playing before me. So two or three other people did four million dollar buy-ins. And they probably gave them the same amount of quarters as they gave me. Like 50 of them. And, yeah, there's like two or three people that lost four million dollars back to back. So they made like 12 million dollars or something, eight or 12 million. Well anyhow, that was the last of our quarters. So let me go collect the quarters real quick and we'll get that last 30 grand out of there. All right, I'm back, let's keep it pushing. So let's get that last 30 grand out of there. After that, I will cash in that $50 chip. Nice, we got it, got it all cleared out of there. So now, let's go ahead and cash in that $50 chip and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So I cast in that $50 chip. They took all those chips that we lost to the side slots. Put them back into the play field. Looks like they combined all those chips into like one big old tower. So it's already about to go. It's right there on the edge of the pusher. Yeah, maybe another push or two and we'll get it to fall on down to that lower level. Come on, big money. Nice, we got it. So it looks like we lost close to three or four, five hundred grand. That's just my guess. It would take me a second to count all that up. Anyhow, you do the math. Say those, say all three of them white dice combined end up multiplying my winnings by 20. 20 times, say like 400 grand. Yeah, we'd have missed out on a ton of money. Millions of dollars for sure. So, really glad that that $50 chip was in there today. $50 chip was a lifesaver. Oh yeah, nice. Just got $20,000 right there. Five grand on the edge. Nice, there it goes. 20 grand to go. Let's get it. Oh yeah, that might be a win right there. Come on, big money. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely brilliant. This has been a spectacular game today. Absolutely spectacular. So now, I'm going to call them back here. I think we won three dice in total. They will put all three of them dice back there on the pusher. We got to roll them on down to the lower shelf. Whatever they land on, get to multiply our winnings by that amount. So let me call them back here real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, let's keep it pushing. So I called them back here, they put all three of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they land on some huge numbers. And if any one of those dice lands on a one, it would be a zero, because it would be multiplying my winnings by one. You do the math one time, say $10 million, it would just be $10 million. So we went on everything from two to six. Let's just hope all those dice land on a five or a six. That'd be really nice. Oh yeah, well we got a two. That's not too bad. Let's see what those other ones are gonna land on. Oh no, we got a one, so that one on the left doesn't count. Anyhow, we got a five and a two, so that's seven times our winnings. I'll take it. So I'm gonna count everything up, multiply our winnings by seven, and I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a $4 million buy-in. I'll be right back. You all are not gonna believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely phenomenal. I ended up winning $5,065,000 in chips, and all those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by seven. And in total, I ended up winning $35,455,000 from a $4 million buy. And that is absolutely exceptional. That's another huge life-changing win right there. Absolutely mind-blowing. And on top of that, we won 154 ounces of gold, and those are around $2,000 a piece. We didn't win any gold dice today, so didn't get to multiply our gold by anything. But still, I'll take 154 ounces of gold any day. That's awesome sauce. 
So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $4 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications, that way you get notified for whenever I upload a video. I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.